there was a concept you had in the book that I, I thought was brilliant. Uh, and it's called the motivation bubble. And I, I, the reason I think that it's great is because I think when someone actually understands this concept, it's like, oh, that happens to me every single day day. (laughs) You know, it's not just every single time I try to lose weight or every time I try to start an exercise program, you know, I I build this motivation bubble. Um, That bubble pops as soon as something gets around it, you know, and we've got these, can you talk about the motivation bubble and why and how that, you know, because we, we, we go it, we go in with the best of intentions. Yes. We're excited. Right. Well, we usually decide we're going to change our eating or start exercising more for a very specific reason. Either we're excited for a trip we're going to take or that magazine cover or, you know, our doctor gave us really scary news. And we start and we're in this and, and, I, and we're full of motivation because we've decided we're going to do it. But the motivation is like a bubble. And as we know, bubbles are very fragile and we might blow a really big bubble, but it doesn't take much for that to bump up into anything else. Anything that bumps into it is going to burst it. And so if we, this is how we've been taught to initiate behavior change in this fragile bubble of motivation without a lot of strategy, without understanding the types of things that are really going to get in our way. Um, and bubbles burst. And that, that's why I use it. And, you know, that analogy, you know, came organically out of an interview. Um, and I've just been using it ever since. 